Hello, this is Lance from ArtistTerraHelp.com. In this tutorial, we'll look at how we can use Photoshop to create a custom glare for use in our templates. In this example image, you can see I've created an image that has several different levels of opacity to it. I've temporarily put it on a blue background for demonstration purposes. So the first thing we want to do is go ahead and put that extra layer in the garbage can so that we're working with our primary image layer. Now we have to change the grayscale mode. So go up to image mode grayscale, click on that, click OK when it asks about discarding the color information. Next we want to select the entire image and do a copy. Now we'll come down here to our layers tab. The bottom row has several different boxes on it. In this case we want the one that says add layer mask. Click on that. You'll see a small rectangle appear. Now click on your channels tab and you'll see one called gray and one called layer one mask. Click the box next to the layer mask so that you get the eye. Then click on the eye next to gray. So now that layer mask is highlighted. We want to go ahead and paste our image back in here. Then go back up to gray, click it again so that the eye appears in both areas. Now you can see that the background is clear and that our image is there and kind of pink. This image is ready for us to save. We want to save this for the web. Make sure it's a PNG 24 and that you've clicked on the transparency box that has to be checked. We're going to save this one and call it glare 001A. Now the next thing we want to do is go up to our image, adjustments, and invert it. You can see the image has changed a little bit. The reason we do this is because by inverting one image and keeping one without the inversion, both of these images are going to behave a little bit differently depending upon how light or how dark our background is. So this image is all set now for us to save as well. We're going to save it for the web. Make sure we've got the same settings, PNG 24 with transparency checked. Go ahead and save that. We'll call it Glare 001B. All right, both of the images we've created now are all set for use in Artist Air. So let's go ahead and take a look here. If we go up to our background, Glare, we'll add one from file. Let's try 001A first. Now you can see with the dark background that the outlines of our image are pretty well defined. Some of the colors bleed through, but there's an awful lot of white and gray. So let's see what the B version looks like. So in this case we lose a little bit of the definition, but the colors come through a little bit better. We can also head over to our header. Let's add the glare in here. Let's put the A version in. So now you can see we can use these images in several different places. By doing this we can create a custom look to the site and by modifying these images slightly here and there we can also add a consistent style throughout the entire template. Feel free to stop by artisterhelp.com for a written tutorial including images on how to do this in our tutorial section. Thank you for taking the time to watch our video.